right, guys, so here's the deal. I literally just turned on the collar, and I looked, I thought there was a deer way out there. It was a coyote. A coyote was literally had to have been in the field when I was setting up. I did a howl, I had the howl going, I looked, and he was out there. I shut it off, and he's coming my way. I'm gonna turn this tiny pup distress on. He's already on the way here. It looked like a big male, uh, real light colored. We just gotta pray he's gonna bring the right path here and hopefully we can get a self film down. So stick with me here, he's, he's on the way I think. There we go, baby. Whew. Man, I tell you what, this self-filming gets a guy flustered. I, he crested that hill and he instantly, he instantly knew something was kind of going on. He had me pegged, I was just sitting still. I, I couldn't swing my gun. And then he kind of started skirting instead of coming at me, he kind of started skirting and he was on a hill, so if he would've got below that, so. As soon as he had his head facing that way going, I woofed him, and then I had to pick up and swing. And I rushed the shot. I was only zoomed into about 10 power. I usually like to go all the way max. And I thought I pulled the shot. I thought I, I actually th couldn't believe I hit him. But I heard a solid thud. He went down, but then he was dancing around. I had to get another one in him there. But that's how self filming goes. You usually. You're always rushing because you're trying to get that coyote in the frame and then you gotta rush the shot so you don't get out of the frame and uh, it's a pain in the butt. It'd be nice to just calmly take a shot with a film man, but it's just not how it goes. So super light colored coyote, I gotta believe it's a male. He come from I first seen him at six hundred and seventy yards and he closed the distance within like three minutes if that. But we're going to go round this baby up and uh, see what he looks like here. So. Damn. Now that is a nice looking coyote for this time of year. Holy smokes. Wow. He would have been a nice coyote to kill in the middle of the winter. Holy shit. Absolutely beautiful coyote. And he's skunky. Nice big old male, just like I thought. I don't know where I hit him first, to be honest with you. I Right here, as you can see, you can see where I hit him right there in the shoulder. I don't know if that was my follow-up shot. I actually shot him on... That side, oh, it looks like, I don't know where I hit him. 
busted his shoulder to hell. I think I hit him per. I can't believe he was still spinning around. I probably didn't have to shoot him again. I can see the ne another shot was a little bit further back here, but this thing's fur is absolutely, gosh, I wish I could have got, he's almost worth skinning now, to be honest, if a guy wanted to, but uh, I don't know. He's, he's a big one, Jesus. You guys can see that. Just a big old male, and I mean light colored. Ain't very old though. I mean, two, three years old, probably three years old. He's got a little bit of teeth wear and some yellow, but just a hog of a coyote. <sighs> Unbelievable. He was aggressive. Come right in when I turned that pup. He was coming to the howls, actually. I mean, you guys seen it. I started filming there and he was way off behind me here. And he come quick. I could tell on that trot. He was trotting. He was coming. I hesitated to even turn the pup distress. I was just going to let him come to the vocals, but I thought, well, let's speed it up a little bit. So I turned the pup distress on, and here he come. Absolute stud of a dog. Absolute stud of a dog. So I should show you guys how I'm sitting here. He come up. He come from that timber way back there, all the way up, and he crested right here, and I was sitting right on that corner, right there, and the call was just out in front of me out here a little ways. Typically, I sit right here. This is tall grass along this hill here, but it was cut, so I, I went up in the corner there and then stuck my call just out from me, and I should have blended in pretty good, but uh, I didn't have no camo on, and I had a light-colored shirt. He knew something was up, but... We got it done, so that's all that matters. Another one down, and uh, we'll keep getting after her as we can here this spring. So, second dog of the spring, and uh, he's a beautiful one, that's for sure. Big one, so. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to drag this sucker out, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. You guys would not just believe this. I literally just did an interview in the wide open field here. Bam, just like this. My call is over there. I'm dragging the coyote out, and right in front of my damn call, there's a coyote trotting. I grab my gun, I freehand it, and there lays another coyote. Right there, dead. I was gonna grab the camera, but it spotted me and it took off running, I had to shoot it running through the woods. Right in front of my chair, it ran within five, 10 yards of my chair unbelievable where that thing came from i have no idea i literally was standing out here talking interviewing unbelievable you just wonder how that shit happens sometimes <laughs> chair coyote that thing must have i was over that little hill there he must have come up from the creek bottom down there and just come right up the gully. Must have heard my howls and my pup distress from 10 minutes ago and remembered and just come right into her. And that is a female. Like a dry one. Absolutely smoked her right there. Running through the woods. I have no idea how I hit her. I had my scope on uh, 10 power still, and she was only at like 80 yards and got in the timber on me. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Ever. Here we are. Two down. 
I think that's 28 and 29 for the year. Maybe it's 29 there, I don't remember. Sometimes a little bit of luck is all you all you need. To stack them up. So all right, now we're official this time. We're out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Unless I see another coyote here to shoot. Catch you on the next one.